first thing to do in planning an aerial video job is to check to be sure the location isn't too close to an airport or some other restricted area. One of the best tools to accomplish that job is the free website airmap.io. We'll assume that you're operating under a Section 333 exemption, so we'll set up airmap for that configuration. We'll turn on commercial COA. We'll also turn on Class B, C, D, and E airspace. We want to be aware of TFRs, temporary flight restrictions, which can pop up almost anywhere if there happens to be like a major election. And we'll also want to watch out for prohibited, restricted, national park, and marine protection areas. We also want to avoid designated private property, hospitals, that might have heliports. And there can be some schools with restricted airspace, so we'll turn those on as well. If you have a street address, finding a location in AirMap is simple. Just enter it in the box. But what if you don't have an exact street address? Here's a little trick you can use. Go to Google Maps and search for the location there. As an example, let's look for the Pioneer Settlement in Bluntstown, Florida. If you look closely, you'll see that Google provides us with the latitude and longitude for that location. See it here? The 30 and the minus 85s. So we'll go ahead and copy those and enter them into AirMap. It looks like the location is good to go. There's a small airport to the north, but we're well away from there. And if we happen to be within the circle of a Class D airport, many times all it takes is a phone call to get permission. AirMap makes that easy too by providing the phone number right in the program. Here you see the phone number for Calhoun County Airport. Just click on the circle. All you need now is some good flying weather and a set of charged batteries. And that's your guided tour of AirMap I.O. I'm Tim Trott. Be sure to check out my ebook, The Droner's Guide, at Amazon.com. Thanks for viewing.